Hi guys, this is Katie from Homemade Food Junkie, and today we are making a really pretty tequila sunrise margarita. I am hosting a girls' night soon, and I wanted to find a really fun drink to share with them. I really wanted to do this one because of the layers. I absolutely love the way layered drinks look, and this one is no exception. It's gorgeous. So let's get started. Rim the glass today, I am using coarse kosher salt and sparkling sugar that has really big crystals. I want to be able to see it when you're looking at the rim of the glass when you're done. So we are going to rub a lime all the way across the rim. Now I am using a glass that has not been chilled and I later on use a different glass that I did chill. So. Um, you're going to want to make sure your glass is chilled before you rim it and that's just going to help the sugar and salt stick a little better. So um, you can see when I'm finished here, it's, it's okay. It's a pretty good rim, but honestly, if you chill it beforehand, you're going to get a lot more to stick to it. So I recommend chilling your glass about 15 minutes before you start the process. Okay, so we're gonna prepare our cocktail shaker by filling it up with ice before we start adding alcohol. Go ahead and add in one and a half ounces of tequila, half an ounce of triple sec in there, and then for juice, we're going to use orange juice, one ounce, and a half an ounce of lime juice. You can either use fresh lime juice or you can just get it out of the bottle. And you're gonna wanna shake this for a good 30 seconds until you feel that shaker getting nice and cold. So the next step here is to fill it up with alcohol and ice and get ready to make the layers. You're gonna use a spoon to push the ice aside, making sure that you have a clear path all the way down the side of the glass. Very slowly pour that grenadine down. You do not wanna let this mix in because it will change the entire drink pink. So once you get it down there, you have all of the layering done and we are going to garnish with a slice of lime and a maraschino cherry. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you make this drink, please let me know down below. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time at Homemade Food Junkie. Bye-bye.